Puntland will choose a new lineup of senators this week. State President Saeed Denny submitted a list of candidates, two for each of the 11 seats. Three of the positions are being contested by women only, guaranteeing 28% representation from Puntland in the upper house. Denny has nominated five of his cabinet ministers. He has nominated none of the sitting senators from the state. Puntland will become the fourth federal member state to hold balloting for the upper house. Southwest State has elected all eight of its senators. Jubaland has chosen four, with four still remaining to be selected. Galmadug and Hershebelli have not scheduled their vote, although the balloting for the upper house was originally set for July 26th. Each of those states will choose eight senators. The polling for Somaliland's 11 seats has been a source of continuing controversy. Senate Speaker Abdi Hashi has continued to protest against the setup, despite Prime Minister Mohamed Roble's personal attention to the matter. Hawiya elder Mohamed Had weighed in against Robles' decisions on Tuesday. It remains to be seen how the situation will play out. The Prime Minister's office did present some good news regarding elections this week, defying President Mohamed Farmajo's decree not to sign any international agreements. The PM's office signed a deal to get $7.7 million to execute the balloting from the United Nations. The UN has stipulated that some of the funds be used for public awareness and achievement of the 30% threshold for women's representation. The rest will go to election operations. ADN TV will continue to post updates as Somalia continues its national election process.